Hi, I'm Deborah Hershkowitz. I wrote Half-Life, the winner of the 2012 Scriptapalooza screenplay competition. How did I get the idea for Half-Life? Well, one morning I woke up and the first scene was playing in my head. It was completely out of the blue. I could see every shot, hear every sound, the music, the dialogue, and I just felt compelled to get out of bed, go to my computer, and write the first scene out. Now, normally when I write a script, I don't type fade in until I know exactly where I'm going with it, until I've charted it out scene by scene and have the whole movie in my head, which I can then watch and write down. But in the case of Half-Life, it was just such a powerful vision, so overwhelming, that I just had to go and write it down right away. Then I spent about two months figuring out where I was going with the rest of the movie, charting it out scene by scene, and working out all the twists and turns. And then another two months after that to actually write the script. And particularly during the time when I was plotting it out, um, putting a thriller together, it's like putting a puzzle together. and You've got a lot of pieces, and sometimes they don't seem all to fit together like they should. And it can be really frustrating. And during those times, I would go and reread that first page that I had already written, and I knew that I had something special, and it helped me keep going. I chose to enter Half-Life in Scriptapalooza because Scriptapalooza offers writers a wonderful opportunity to be read, to be read by agents and managers and producers. And it's an opportunity which I'm very excited to have now. As far as advice for other writers, I would say that the most important thing when you're writing a script is to always remember that you're writing for actors, that you always want to challenge them, whether it's the lead role or a small part, you always want to give them something that's really going to challenge them, something that's going to push them a little bit outside their comfort zone, because that's the way you get a really good performance. And that in order to do that, you, as a writer, have to push yourself outside of your comfort zone um, to always challenge yourself with what you're doing, not write the same thing over and over again, but to always write the things that are different and, and force you to be a little uneasy, a little uncomfortable with what you're doing, um, because that's the way you're going to be able to create a script that you can be proud of.